Hello everyone and welcome back to J1 Aviation. So today is another scenario training for private pilots. So here's the setup that we're talking about today. So let's say you take a friend up flying with you. You have the aircraft all trimmed out, it's a nice smooth day, and you were telling them how easy it is to fly on these nice smooth days. So your friend's kind of interested in aviation and asked to take the controls for a little bit and try to fly. So is this legal? Are there any regulations you need to keep in mind while you're doing this? So the answer is yes, it's legal. And I would say it happens quite frequently actually. So it's actually a great way to share your love of aviation with others. So there aren't any regulations prohibiting it. However, we need to remember part 91.3 states that the pilot in command of an aircraft is directly responsible for and is the final authority as to the operation of that aircraft. So that's a big consideration to keep in mind. Obviously, since your passenger is not a rated pilot, you as the pilot are still the PIC for that flight. So if your passenger decides to do something stupid, you are the one responsible for whatever happens both legally and physically. Now in the scenario I laid out, you know, in cruise flight, smooth air, you know, this is an ideal spot to have your friend trying to fly if they want to. You know, many people have started to get the love of aviation by taking the controls as a non-pilot and experiencing the freedom of flying through the air. So any critical phase of flight, you know, as a pilot, you definitely want to have the controls. So no matter how much your friend asks, you wouldn't want to coach them through a landing, you know, unless you were a CFI. You just need to think about some acceptable time to do this and, you know, when not to allow this. So cruise is a good time. Um, you know, sure the altitude may fluctuate by 500 feet, you know, maybe they can't maintain a heading, but you know, if you're flying at like 3000 feet, you're basically half a mile from hitting anything. So, you know, generally the risk is pretty low. Now, another thing to keep in mind is, you know, the age. So as you can see, my boy flying here, he's 11. He's sitting on a pillow while he's flying, right? So next time we'll probably bring two pillows just to get him a little bit higher up so he can have a better sight picture. So that's something you'd want to keep in mind for anyone flying, you know, with you who's a little bit smaller. Now, if your friend wants to do this and you don't feel comfortable with this idea for whatever reason, then, you know, be on the lookout for certain air shows or EAA events. A lot of times there will be pilots there offering rides where, you know, they might be able to take one. And you know, if your friend is very interested, then have them check out a local flight school and take a discovery flight. You know, that way they'll be able to take a flight with a real flight instructor and get real instruction. And it's a great way for them to experience flight if they have a general interest. So just curious, when's the general time? When was the first time you took the controls? You know, was it with an instructor or was it with a friend? Um, for me, it was actually with an instructor. But for most of my family, for my kids, it was when they were up flying with me. So thanks everyone for watching today. We'll hope you join us on a future flight and thanks for flying J1 Aviation.